Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Josiah Decker. Um, we do photography stuff on this channel. Normally it's film photography and that's what this video is going to be. Uh, today we're looking at a roll of Fuji Super HQ200 that I pushed three and a half stops, uh, two stops in development, one and a half um, in camera with exposure compensation um, in my point and shoot camera. And just a roll of this old Fuji film that I bought a bunch of like I bought nine rolls of film and this is half of it was super HQ so um, I'm excited to see these photos they were they were pretty cool um, nothing crazy I'm gonna be honest nothing that was shocking to me like wow this film looks incredible but I also have it you know expired and then pushed so not all these photos are going to be crazy but um, let's take a look and see what we got a photo of a sunset and I will be honest with you, I I don't know where this is. Sun is kind of cool, um, but every other part of this image is super grainy, uh, which is not consistent throughout these photos. So it's interesting. This is just a sort of shaky photo shot out the front windshield of my car. Um, and you can see that it was shot at a low shutter because it's shaky. Um, and there are some scratches or tears or something in the scan, I'm not really sure. Um, but it the colors are nice. I like the colors. It kind of makes me think winter, but also kind of rainy. This was, you know what? It could be the same day. I'm not sure. This is a bunch of birds. I was waiting to go to breakfast at a friend's house and there were a bunch of birds just flying around in this park. So I stopped, got my digital camera out, which I happened to just take along this one day. I happened to have it in my car, which is rare. And it had a uh, basically like a 100 to 400 millimeter lens on it. So I got some real nice close-ups of the birds with that. Um, and then with my point and shoot, it goes from 38 to 105. So <laughs> this is all the way at 105. And as you can see, the birds are just a blurry um, mess and they're not even that close. But with the 400, of course, it was like right in your face. It was a bird and it was sharp and beautiful. And um, digital has its benefits, but just because I don't know if there is a 400 millimeter lens <laughs> for a film camera that I could feasibly use without a tripod anyway. So yeah, this image here is really interesting. This is the strip in Stillwater, um, sort of like downtown, but it's it's kind of the, the area with all like the bars and um, whatnot. So like this first one on the very right is a pool hall, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't go to the strip, but I walk through the strip whenever I'm going to class uh, sometimes. So this is just a photo that I took as I was walking to class one day, um, which is interesting because again, like so far these images have been like kind of grainy, like the photo of the birds, not that grainy. Um, this photo here though, I either forgot to do plus 1.5 in camera or something just is different because it's very grainy. I like the look, but it's grainy. It's interesting. This next photo is of the living room. We have since changed how the living room looks, but um again it the film honestly this is the sharpest i think it's looked not really not really the sharpest it's blurry from a slow shutter on a camera that i was holding not tripoding um but yeah it's interesting it's interesting um the the colors i think is the big thing for me like the colors look really natural and bright and i really like it so here we can see um a photo of my car in the driveway and as you can see uh in this bright daylight conditions, which is actually overexposed with the three and a half stops that I shot this film at, um, I probably could have done more like just two stops in development or one stop in development, one and a half in camera, because I don't think this film really needed that much uh, pushing just because um, just because it's a 200 speed film, it's not going to degrade as much as a 400 or 800 speed film would have uh, being only expired for like a decade. But this is a very, very, very crisp image. Only when I zoom like all the way into the tire am I able to see much of the grain. It's actually like, it's quite sharp. So that's cool. It's cool to see that this film has flexibility. It's not consistent, but uh, there's a range from where uh, when it's given a lot of light, even expired, it's not grainy. And when it's not given enough light, it gets very grainy quickly. So it's interesting. This photo here, Somehow the camera missed focus on the house in the distance and it instead focused on the truck, which is interesting because the truck is not in the center of the frame. 
and this camera has a one point uh, autofocus system so it should focus on the thing in the center of the frame which would be the green trees or the house and instead for some reason the truck is more in focus than like the brick wall behind it um, but as you can see once again the truck is not very grainy or at least it's not as prevalent because it's in the light and the wall that is a little bit darker um, instantly just mushier darker grain um, more noticeable I took the same a picture of the house from the other side and this time it's backlit so the metering is a little off there's this blue cast and it's once again it's not too grainy considering the left side of this frame appears to be underexposed it's interesting that it's not too super grainy um, but this is the same house from the other side which i thought was kind of cool to capture the house from two different angles this image here i'm a big fan of it's inside the student union on campus and it was empty because it was a Saturday and nobody's on campus on Saturdays. I'm on campus most Saturdays because I work on campus. Uh, so I was just in here and I thought, wow, it's empty. That's cool. I'm gonna take a picture. And it turned out pretty crisp. I think this is the sharpest handheld image that I made with this camera on this roll. And it's not that sharp, but it's sharp enough. If you don't zoom in, you don't notice that it's a little blurry from the low shutter. So that's cool. I like it. Yeah, I was driving one day and recently I've gotten bad about whenever I see a composition I like, I don't stop and take a picture of it. Partially because a lot of times I don't have my film cameras with me anymore because I'm so busy I don't drive around a lot. But to that this day I was driving around, had my camera with me, and I saw this composition I thought, wow, that's cool. I'm going to be honest, I'm a sucker for these power lines going through um, rural landscapes. Um, especially this one because there's all this erosion in the foreground and then the power lines just cut all the way through the center and you can it's offset a little and you can see it on the left side there's this fence that's in the light and once again it's like it's grainy in the shadows it's also a little bit grainy in the highlights uh, except for the sky which you just can't really tell is that grainy but it's not a bad looking image like i don't think that the grain takes away from this image i think that it just is a nice texture and then the same image more centered I, I tried to center as best as i could with the viewfinder on my point and shoot camera and you can't it's not a perfect center but it's, it's almost centered <laughs> it's just a little off i think the power lines actually are crooked too so they get closer to being centered as you get to like the fourth and fifth power line poles but anyway um i like this one too it's got the the little foreground elements of the sticks and the twigs are in the light and then it's got the darkness of the the like water and the terrain that's eroded away and then you've got the light again with the power line so it's an interesting image and then at the same location i turned to the left to see that fence that was in the earlier photo and it's in the light and it just looks cool and again like this film this film when it's given light it looks good it's the last set of images i believe um this one was waiting to go to church i was i missed a meeting and so I was like, well, I missed the meeting. I'm just going to like drive around for a few minutes, kill some time. And I drove down this road and I saw this power line. <laughs> I apparently have a thing for power lines. Um, and it had the ABC bottom corner, which is interesting because there's a tree sort of in the foreground that's blurry. I didn't notice that before. I don't know how that happened. Maybe it was moving. I don't know. But um, the sky is a nice blue. Um, it's got a nice gradient of blue from top to bottom and the light is it's harsh but it's not super harsh it's i don't know kind of glowing and then i did the same pole but just one pole with the abc because um, i wanted to see what the the bokeh would look like with this um point and shoot lens because it was early enough in the morning that if i zoom in close it's going to open up the aperture a little bit and it did did not disappoint um there is depth to this image i drove past this composition this last basically the last composition that i thought about I drove past a week before I took this image and I thought, wow, that looks kind of cool. There's a pole. And if you look at the garage thing at this dealership just right, the pole is sticking out the top right in the middle. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to have to come back to this on a different day because I was running late to something that day. Uh, you can see a trend here of me running late. And so I came back and I parked my car at the gas station nearby and I walked over Took the image um, wide open or with the lens not zoomed in rather. <laughs> I don't I don't have control over the aperture and lens um, zoomed out all the way and got this image and it's cool 
and the pole is pretty much centered. I'm a little bit offset. I didn't get the perspective quite right, but I really like the colors. It's almost like pastel colors in the light on this garage and the blue sky is cool. And then I, instead of zooming in, I just walked forward. I zoomed in with my feet, if you will, um, to get the, rid of the power lines because they wouldn't have disappeared if I had just zoomed in there. Took the same image. This one is a little bit slightly more to the left, which is a little frustrating because I can tell that the perspective isn't quite right. But yeah, it's not quite right. It's a little left actually. Um, but it's cool once again, the, the clouds and the deep blue at the top of the frame contrasted to the sort of pastel colors at the bottom with the uh, sort of green grass and like the light gray road and just the, the white um, that glows on the garage. Um, this image is really cool. I'm glad that I made it. I kind of want to go back again a different day with different lighting and see what can happen with this <laughs> exact same composition. And then this last image, I was working at a basketball game because I work for the university store. So we have a booth at the basketball game and I was with a coworker and I said, man, I kind of want to go out and take a picture. And she said, just go out there and take a picture. And I'm like, you what? <laughs> you right. Um, so I just stepped out of our box, walked around the corner, popped out, saw the game. Nobody was playing at this time. The game wasn't over yet. It was like, it wasn't halftime, but something had just happened. Maybe the Discord, I don't know. Um, so I just, all the way wide as my lens could be zoomed out at 38 millimeters, took this photo. Um, I like it. It's cool. There's a lot of orange, which is the school colors. Um, the center of the frame, overexposed, but you know what? I'm not mad about it. Um, it's cool. It's just like a photo that I'll remember. This is actually on Valentine's Day, which is funny. I was working Valentine's Day. I know. Kind of cool. I, I'm, just, I'm just cool. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> it's an interesting image. An interesting image. That's all the photos from this roll. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. Um, appreciate the support on all the videos lately. Um, it's been really cool. So thank you. I'm trying to get more videos out, but this semester I'm between the amount of time I spend in classes and the amount of time I spend working on campus. I spend 42 hours of my week doing that. And then I throw on extracurriculars in the evenings on top of that. Puts me closer to 50 hours a week of uh, commitments. And then I have to do my homework. And then I think about potentially taking photos. And then every month or so I go home and drop off a roll of film with the lab and get it developed. So you can see it's a, it's quite the process to get just these um, 25 photos, which is one of those things with the expired film. These rolls are all like 24 exposure rolls. So not ideal, but um, you know, it is what it is. I enjoy it. I got a half frame camera recently. Really cool. Excited to make a video about that because um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. I hope it works. I shot a test roll. I'm excited for the test roll. Test roll had like 52 images on it because it's half frame and it was a 24 exposure roll and it managed to squeeze some extra frames on there somehow. So it's not 48, it was 52. I don't know, but a lot of photos from one roll of film. And if it works, then I'm going to take it on a trip that I'm upcoming and hopefully my film will last a little longer. And hopefully, um, like with these images, most of them weren't that grainy. So hopefully uh, being half resolution won't actually affect the, um, <laughs> won't affect the quality too much with the expired film because that's basically all I have. Why was I rambling about that? I don't know. Um, if you liked this video, uh, you might like this video right here. It's basically the same thing from a year ago, except with, I think just with Fuji Superior. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a cool video. So check it out. Um, and I don't know, you want to hear a, a joke? Um, what's green and has wheels? grass. I lied about the wheels. Okay. Okay. Bye.